I'm going to knock you out. Welcome back to Boxing Insane. Yeah. He's shown the work rate. He's oh in it. The bronze bomber, Deontay Wilder, who throws bombs and destroys everything around him. And the Nordic nightmare, Robert Hellenius, who's turned his punches into nightmares, terrifying opponents. Bad trouble already on the ropes. He gives it his best. He pushes himself as hard as he can. He doesn't fight people below his level. Today, eight. let's see how Wilder and Hellenius punches destroyed other opponents. Before we jump into the video, remember, like, subscribe, tap the bell so you don't miss out on any updates from Boxing Insane. Against the opponent. And here's the last knockdown. We start with Deontay Wilder, and this is Wilder versus Kirsten Manswell. Deontay Wilder didn't stick around for long in this one. He blows out Manswell in the first round of this main event. Wilder scored several knockdowns on the night, flooring Manswell early into the bout and never looking back. Manswell struggled to get his legs back, making him a sitting duck until the home state favorite finished him off for good with courtesy of a big left hook. Yeah. All the, the big All the heavyweights are watching me. And you know, you get the sense that yeah. 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 started. And terrific power. Even when he squared up, he was able to knock him down. Deontay Wilder versus Audley Harrison. That's the big shots. And he goes looking for Harrison straight away. Oh. The first punch he's had Wilder waited for the right opportunity to unleash that ferocious punching power in the first round. Harrison's backed into the corner and the bronze bomber immediately pounces on his prey and lands a powerful right to rock the Brit. But Wilder then unloads a massive power punch that has him dropped to a knee when he continued to punish the helpless Harrison. Harrison eventually slid down to the canvas, and referee Terry O'Connor intervenes and pulls off the Alabama-born star from his opponent. Deontay Wilder versus Luis Ortiz. There's a right. Though Luis Ortiz was dictating the action as the aggressor, Deontay Wilder caught him with that pulverizing right hand. In came when Wilder touched Ortiz with a light left jab before coming across with a vicious right to snap the head of Ortiz back as the Cuban fighter fell into a heap and was subsequently counted out. There's a left. Bronze Bomber scored a seventh round knockout and retained his WBC heavyweight title at the MGM Grand Garden Arena. Boom. Now it's Deontay Wilder and Damon Reed. Wilder. There we see a little bit of Wilder. Wilder annihilated compatriot Reed by imposing a devastating knockout. In the second round, the two traded heavy blows until the promising heavy put Reed on the ropes and with various combinations put his rival to the canvas, ending the confrontation at 159. Five or six years ago. Next, it's Wilder versus Bermain Stavern 2. This was a rematch, and when it came around, Wilder flattened the Haitian Canadian with a straight right in the first round. Stavern made it back to his feet, but Wilder posed in the middle of the ring with his hands down and then unleashed again, this time a right hook knocking him down. Stavern, he remarkably got up a second time.
but Wilder skidded across the ring upon finding out there were only 10 seconds left and pummeled his foe with one final combination, leaving him slumped on the campus. Referee attempted to pull Wilder away, but ended up being ragdolled by the furious heavyweight champion. Deontay Wilder and Eric Molina. And Wilder with a left hook. Oh, step. Wilder stops Molina at 103 of the ninth in the first defense of his WBC title in Birmingham, Alabama. And the drummer boy looking to drum up some support of his own as he Wilder put Molina down four times, once in the fourth, twice in the fifth, and once in the final round. Last knockdown was the result of a big straight right, which put Molina flat on his back with a blank face, and that prompted referee Jack Reese to end the fight. Now, this crowd ready to like a He's in trouble early in the round. A lot of time left in this round. Now we move to Robert Hellenius. Robert Hellenius and Adam Kalnacki to the rematch. A lot of time left, 15 seconds, hard body. Final 10 seconds. Linia sets the tone early, hurting Kalnacki with a straight right and closing his left eye with 30 seconds left in the opening round. Bad trouble. Already on the ropes. Wobble. He cannot see that eye, but now fight just didn't change much after that, with Hellenius landing punishing blows either from range or when his aggressive opponent would charge. Looking for that one shot now to put him out. Yeah, He's got to get out of there. After consecutive violent stabs from the Finnish boxer, Kalnacki's eyes were swollen with pain. Did he take a shot low? I guess so. Because he's going to have to fight back from a person. He's hurt. Now let's look at the first Robert Hellenius Adam Kalnacki fight. Robert pushed Adam back, slid in a right cross, added a left hook as the loser started to go down two times. He doesn't go to a left hook after that. Oh, he yeah. caught. But he got back up and got back to work with Hellenius and his Viking blood coursing in his vessel. He knew his foe was buzzed. And long drill and he took it up by Hellenius. Right Hellenius knew the drill. The winner, Shark Kalnacki, flurried by a series of brutal punches and pushing him back. And the ref Serious trouble. Hellenius caught him and upset for Hellenius. Kalnacki's not all there. He's got to be careful. He's got to be Back and the referee saves the New Yorker from more punishment the time of 152 when we mark Adam Kalnacki's nightmare ending. Close look, Hellenius pressing the advantage. No. Robert Hellenius and Mateus Roberto Osorio. Finnish heavyweight boxer Robert Hellenius knocks down his Brazilian opponent, Osorio, known as the Tsunami, and Narva Estonia in the second round. In the second, the Finnish boxer launched a series of violent stabs, making the opponent unable to counterattack. And then Hellenius hits another big right to the midsection, and the fight's over. Robert Hellenius versus Erkan Tepper. Hellenius kept evading Tepper's hard punches, and Tepper even resorted to trying to go straight shots to Hellenius' body. Well, it must have hurt. Oh, Finish gets in a wide left hook, and then a right that didn't quite connect, but he sets Tepper up to spread his arms. And that's when Hellenius finishes him off the beautiful left cross in the eighth round. It was that left cross that put Tepper asleep down on the campus, and the lights were out. Oh, the Conda punch. Well, that's our compilation of top punches that Deontay Wilder and Robert Hellenius destroyed their opponents with.
Did we miss any punches that should be on the list? What do you want to know more about? Leave your comments below and let us know. And don't forget, like, subscribe, tap that icon bell. You don't want to miss any videos from Boxing Insane. Stay safe, and we'll see you next time.